So we are working on this website, as you know. Hey, go check it out. A lot of interesting tools. Yeah, that's probably the one I spent most uh, a lot of the time on. Um, it's uh, an actual bot robot that plays a game detecting uh, ECG abnormalities. You can uh, control your noise. You have been through this quite a few times, but uh, let me know if you had a chance to check it out. Uh, let me know what you think so I can make more improvements. This primarily just teaches you uh, about uh, type 1 and uh, type 2 errors, you know, false alarms and correct rejections, hits and misses, and uh, does uh, tell you what the bot is doing. It's telling you how it's making the decision. Go check it out. The signal is synthetic. It's not real uh, ECG. It makes it uh, more controllable. Well, otherwise it will be hard to calculate the score and do other things with it. But there's, there's currently only, I think, five abnormal wave, waveforms and one a normal one. We could obviously um, add uh, more. Yeah, there should be some future directions on that page as well. But yeah, if you let me know what you think, I can uh, add it to the mix. Uh, what else we've got? Yeah, we've got the eye detection. That used to work okay, but we're still uh, testing it. So you can split the view so I, your eyes are freakishly on the side of your head instead of on your head. Default is uh, overlay. And we get those controllers. We can change our eye height, eye width to match the the eyes. It's it's defining the region ROI, the region of interest. And then we have our darkness threshold. Sounds scary, but uh, that's controlling the way the pupil is being detected within the eye. I need to make it a bit narrow. I don't know why is one is the angle of me to the camera or something. Yeah, the light conditions in the room will affect this quite a bit. You need to keep your head stable and find the darkness threshold for which you get uh, good results. Yeah, it's kind of working better for one eye than the other. I don't know if it's because my head is tilted or something, but overall, overall it's working fine. I don't know if it's finding other faces in there. Yes, it does. So why it's not consistent with this face. I need another face. I don't have any other face, but you can test it with your face. Let me know how it works. I don't know why it's not always uh, uh, working with this. It's finding a face on my hand. So it's, uh, yeah, it was, but you can't, yeah. Yeah, there's no face on my hand now. Um, yeah, so obviously not ideal, but it's only using one uh, cheap webcam. So uh, it's all about the cost, isn't it? I don't have any fancy eye tracking device uh, available for me so we have to uh, get away with what we've got and uh, what else we've got yeah i've got the music from hands i already showed that one it's loading for some time before it was consistently doing false alarms detecting a hand on my ear it's not doing that anymore yeah loudness up and down uh, you have two separate uh, musical scales for each hand. So it's essentially like playing two a uh, piano with two hands or two separate uh, musical instruments all at the same time. Uh, so that's uh, the scale is left to right. Ah, and you also have Sorry, that hand is a bit more pleasant to the ear. 
So you have your long notes and short notes. It should be somewhere in between. It's actually calculating the distance between the tips of uh, the thumb and the index finger. So go check it out. Let me know how I can improve it. I'll put it on the list. Do I need to install anything? No. It runs in the web browser. And it's using your um, CPU or GPU, whatever you have. Yeah, we have this music from EG. You can select your channel. This is from an implant, so the so there is the we are more convinced that this actually is EEG as opposed to many other recordings where you're looking primarily at noise or the noise to signal ratio is not uh, very good. In this case, because it's an implant, we are convinced that this is mostly EEG. I would imagine like almost 100% EEG. And yes, by the way, when I edit this into a video later, there will be no sound. That means you'll have to actually, you know, use the link and uh, check it out yourself. Yeah, play around with that one. We have some blogs. We are adding another one. Uh, where is it? It's called... Yeah on the limitations of uh, EEG diagnosis, uh, using EEG for diagnosing all sorts of conditions and combined modalities, probably need to expand on this. I was just uh, trying to get the references correct and it's pretty hard with uh, GPT-4, so they're doing pretty amazing stuff, you know, writing text. And yes, we need a disclaimer, don't we? We need a disclaimer. Let's see what the uh, GitHub Copilot will come up with. So we're okay using a footer for this. Disclaimer for using GPT. Oops. <laughs> Why is it assuming GPT-3? GPT-4. Well, the content has been a real scientific knowledge. It is not substitute for professional medical advice. It's pretty good. Always consult healthcare provider for diagnostic and treatment. It's not bad at all. Not bad at all. I quite like it. Where is it though? Oops. Yeah, and we need to sort out the references. So the references are a bit messy at the moment. Uh, to say the least, yes, we're using uh, GPT-4 for uh, generating the text. We also asked it to uh, find the references. It did, but the links are all wrong. And also, yes, say we have this Fisher school a scholar straight away. Oh, this Fisher et al. Um, I don't see it. Is there a paper? I need the actual name for the paper. Have a full stop in it. It's actually a useful paper back from 2013. And some examples. It's already. Is it a paper? It doesn't look like a paper, does it? Does it have a DOI? It does. Because those are permanent uh, links, um, the DOI doesn't work. The DOI is not legit. That's not cool. Doesn't look like a proper uh, paper anyway. It's what you get for a uh, psychology, psychiatry. Yeah, I'm not familiar with like how do you publish in these uh, areas, but the DOI, no, 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 no. Not good at all. What's that rolling? <laughs> What's that rolling for? Ah, translated as well. I don't know. Yeah, it's weird. The point is that the original paper that the GPT-4 found is nowhere to be found. 
Okay, this one is legit. A instruction manual for that's the international link uh, for epilepsy something. Operational classification of seizure types. That should be a legit paper, yes. But that's one that I found. We have the international classification of sleep disorders. That should be a legit thing as well. Where is it? Um, American Association for Sleep Disorders. Yeah, obviously, we don't have a full stop in the name. And we need the link for it. It's actually from 2014. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you how a, a DOI should look like. You know what chest is? It's a Science Direct uh, article. You have this DOI. Ah, I know why it uh, didn't work. A copy link address. Link. So we're using uh, GitHub Copilot and we can't see it, it's outside the screen. Just, uh, you have this weird uh, long and narrow uh, screen that nothing fits on. This link to the end of the text, come on, come on, come on. There's something uh, wrong. Okay, it's basic stuff. href have the link. The link works. It's the correct one, not the one that was uh, hallucinated by a GPT-4 to begin with, but it's not appearing on the page because it doesn't have a um, like text in it. Using GitHub Copilot to fix this. Don't know what just happened. Yeah, that second paper is nowhere to be found. Is it third edition 2018? It is third edition, but it's uh, 2014. Yeah, the whole thing could be a link, really. I know it works. Uh, yes, the author name is legit. 16 brain research. Yes, copy link. Can you add this, please? Is this correct? opening in a new no it's not this correct link what else we got pet imaging and neurology has a big name that's the wrong order doesn't look promising does it <laughs> it's nowhere <laughs> it's finding uh, these papers 2015 yeah, let's try the whole thing Okay, it does exist. Journal of Nuclear Medicine Technology, 1990. Yeah. I think it mixed together a few papers. That's not cool. Yeah, nothing is quite right <laughs> about this paper. Uh, yeah, it didn't. Just classic, like, uh, um, undergrad student kind of report where it's not actually like it has a reference to a paper but it's not actually needed is it it's very generic because it's just saying that the studies by shown promise but also highlight the need for further research in the practical applications <laughs> nuclear medicine communications i'll get to that one in a sec uh, let's just quickly try it now. <laughs> Where is it finding it? It's 2015. Weird. It's normally there is like a good reason for why it uh, hallucinated this one, I would imagine. Okay, let's comment it out for now. So we can't find the source. This one is in plus one. So a uh, legit journal. Meg source localization of specially extended generators of epileptic activity comparing entropic and hierarchical Bayesian approaches 2013 and no 2013 need the DOI link some colorful images in there it's meant to be comparing a uh, area under the rock 
curve this meant to be comparing EEG and uh, a MEG for epilepsy or is it just MEG alone spatial clustering depth of sources seems like the it's quite a complex proposed three new methods evaluated their performance uh, localizing specially extended generators of epileptic discharges using MEG data what do they do with EEG? because I'm interested in comparison to distributed model using MEG or EEG or MEG data well it is intracrab it's in the discussion section it's not relevant as in not relevant to the study at hand they mention head model yeah we do need a head model it's a french software in a skull surface doing a simulation analysis or they're actually recording data pause for each source localization anyway we do need the reference for this a paper oops it's the doi a link that refuses to do anything right okay now it did what <laughs> how on earth is it deciding to take a <laughs> it's deciding to take a different paper from like the same uh, the same issue of the article it's like what on earth i just told you to add the, this link what's the problem a control i this link is thinking so much about get okay. edit the whole thing again the name of the author is different the name of the author it's why I have like found a different uh, I gave a link to a different um, article from probably the same uh, issue it should be better the last one we have is is that correct? I have to check it like 20 times EG fMRI no no <laughs> where is where is it getting those things from? the thing is sounding so convincing it's crazy well, the paper does exist that's a good sign it's the, it's the most uh it's 2006 not uh, 2012 the author's names are correct the name of the paper is correct it's as if it's taking um, like multiple papers and just uh, putting them together. Again, yeah, that looks more like it. Okay, so we got a uh, two of them. We couldn't five, but we still got uh, five. It should be plenty. Yes, we have a disclaimer. It's the end of this. Uh, Diagnostically, let's right, let's document at the body. Footer. Right, this is why the footer is in line. Should be alright. Ah, and we had a bunch of images for it, we can do it later. It's the kind of a article we'll have published. Just be, just be back in a sec. What else we have on the site? Go check it out by the way. Yes, yeah, some of these tools are quite heavy. It's meant to be. Yeah, this is working actually well. I couldn't get to work on other tools where it's shown uh, side by side like this and uh, top to bottom on smaller screens. This one needs a bit of improvement. Let's find out the spectrogram. Looks like. Does it look like it has like a 3D component to it? When, yeah, it's probably just... Ah, it's also because of the logarithmic scale. 
Yeah, you can turn it into linear scale, but then you don't see the details in the low frequency component. 